In this video, I'll show you how to connect your home theater speakers to your Yamaha AV receiver. On the back of the receiver, you have those ports, red and black, and a diagram on how you should position them around the TV. So just for an example, the front right is when you look straight to the TV, it's on the right side. And we also have the left, obviously, and the S, L and S are, are the surround speakers that you may have behind you or mostly on the sides. And each of these ports are identified above them, so you know where to plug each speakers. And just before starting, make sure that the unit is not powered on and it's unplugged from the AC outlet. So this is my setup. These are the front left, center, uh, front right, surround right surround left speaker and finally the subwoofer right there each speakers have two wires coming out of them and it looks like this apart from the subwoofer which looks like this and just to identify them i suggest that you wrote on a masking tape which speaker is which so you know um, and you don't mix them up you see back right i mean this is surround right this is how they call it on the yamaha but yeah it's very useful to do this and depending on the wires that you're using one will be positive and one negative on the back of the speaker here you see the negative is clearly marked with a minus positive with a plus and you need to keep this in mind in my case the negative has a black colored wire you see compared to the positive, which is only a blue one in this case. But you need to know which one is which, because when you plug them in the receiver, you need to respect this order as well. And just to show you, uh, for the front left speaker, we just took a look at. I know exactly which wire it is, and it's clearly marked that the negative one is with the black, and the positive one is just blue it's impossible to make a mistake so if we go uh, on the receiver here you'll see that the positive is the red connector and the black one is the negative just as a safety measure when you're doing this make sure that the wires are not touching each other so the positive should never touch the negative so this is why you need to twist them well it tells you over here it should be at least 10 millimeters one centimeters out and you need to twist them you can also use connectors called banana plugs where you attach those two wires to a plug which is much easier to connect but in this case i won't show it to you because most people don't have them i'll put a link in the description if you want to get some of these on amazon okay so let's start connecting so first choose the front right i will start with this one make sure it's the right wires and you're going to undo the positive uh, connector you can start with the negative as well but i prefer starting from the top to the bottom so the wires are looking like this positive is this one and you're going to undo the connector by turning it counterclockwise this way you will open up the connector and let me show you on this side and over here you'll take the tip of the wire insert it inside the farthest that you can like this whoops keep it there and then you're going to turn clockwise the connector so this way the wire will stay trapped inside if it goes out when you're turning just uh, keep pushing in my case holding the camera it's hard to hold the cable and at the same time turn the connector so we'll do the same thing for the negative we'll undo it by turning counterclockwise and we can insert the cable over here the same place as the other one but uh, there's also another slot okay because it's hard to put it uh, on the top you can put it under here you see there is a small entry as well so we're going to glide the cable inside like this and turn again 
you should push it all the way in. For me, it's very hard to uh, do it while holding my phone. All right, you can uh, toggle a bit the cable, just make sure they're connected, they're not going anywhere. And you'll do the same for each of these. All right, so I did it for every single of them. This is the last one I have to connect. And don't be afraid to start again if you feel that the connectors are loose and the cable is going away. Okay, like this one, you see, it could be deeper inserted like this. And at the end, you'll need to find the subwoofer port. This is mine, and this is very easy to connect. You just have to push it all the way in like this, and it's connected. So thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. Please leave a comment, a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.